Welcome to this week's episode of Now Loading. Video game news while you wait for your game to load. I'm Death Vanquished. And I'm Biomonkey. I'm Gaming news, Criterion has released the toy car pack, adding nine new little racers. You can get the whole bunch for $13 or 1,000 Microsoft points. They have two separate collections at $6 a piece, which is 480 Microsoft points, or individually. The downloadable content is available on both the PS3 and Xbox 360. The Beatles Rock Band will hit worldwide on September 9th. For two hundred and fifty dollars, for that kind of cash, you can get a chip off of John Lennon's tombstone. The pit downloadable content for Fallout 3 will add a new enemy, the Trog. The downloadable content will also add four new achievements for the Xbox 360 and will be released on March 24th. In Microsoft news, Microsoft now launches Deal of the Week on a permanent basis. On the first week, you could have gotten Braid for 800 Microsoft points, and this past week, you could have gotten the Missions DLC for Ninja Gaiden 2 for 560 Microsoft points. This is only for Gold members and will continue every week from now on. A heads up for people that's still using the old dashboard for the Xbox 360, the NXE will soon be a mandatory update and will be included on game discs, starting with Hawks and MLB 2K9. Microsoft launches Days of Arcade. A six-week arcade lineup starting on March 18th. A few of the games you'll see are The Dishwasher, Dead Samurai, Load Runner, and Uno Rush. In demo news, it has been a busy week. You can download Wanted Weapons of Fate, The Wheelman, and Chronicles of Riddick, Dark Athena. Good idea. Flying around Liberty City. Did I touch your throttle? Bad idea. Flying through Liberty oh City. Oh my god! Good idea. Helping somebody cross the street. It's okay, I'm in the Boy Scouts. Bad idea. Forcing somebody to cross the street. Get out of the way, old people! While in Sony news, Infamous will be released worldwide in June of this year. While Epic has delayed the Titan pack for the PS3 until March 19th. In Nintendo news, MTV is breaking the standards for Wii game pricing, putting the Beatles Rock Band game at $60 instead of the normal $50. And that was this week's episode of Now Looting. Now get back to gaming.